Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin from LG and today we're giving you guys a look at the LG G2. So the first thing that you're going to notice with this device is its sleek design. The phone features a very thin bezel at 2.65 millimeters and we have a 5.2 inch full HD IPS display. So the display on this phone actually occupies over 75% of the actual space on the front of the phone. Another thing that you'll notice is on the side of your phone, you don't have any buttons. Your volume up, volume down, and power and lock key are all here on the back of the device. So this not only allows for a slim design, but it allows for ambidextrous use as well. So when I'm holding the phone, I'm gonna be able to maintain my grip on the side if I'm on a call and I need to turn my volume up or volume down. These keys also serve as quick, quick access keys for you. So if I'm on my lock screen and I hold my volume down, it's going to bring me right into my camera. So there's no need to unlock the phone, enter a PIN number, and open up an application. You can simply do this in one touch while you're on the go. Also, if I hold the volume up key from my lock screen, it's going to bring me into our quick memo application. So this is a great way to jot down a note really quickly if you needed to. You'll have multiple colors of pen, highlighter, things like that. And then these notes can be shared or saved directly from the screen. So the device is using a Qualcomm 800 Snapdragon processor. Because of this, we were able to incorporate a lot of unique multitasking features. So one that you'll notice right away when you swipe down the notification bar is QSlide. So QSlide gives you a list of applications here, your phone, messaging, calendar, email, memo, voicemate, file manager, calculator. So with these, you're able to open any two of these applications at once. So if I want to take the memo, if I open QSlide here, it's going to give me the memo screen. I can change the size of this memo, control the transparency, and then at the same time, I can open a second application. So I can be taking a memo while I'm looking at my calendar, and I still have full phone functionality, so I can have a regular application running in the background. So this can be done while you're sending a text message or while you're on the web page. Um, and these applications, again, you can control the transparency on them, change the size of them. Also, if I swipe it to the side here, it's going to kind of store it as a little icon so I can kind of move it away and then open it back up if I need to. And to close them out, you're simply going to just click the X on each application. We also have a new feature called Slide Aside, which allows for multitasking as well. So with Slide Aside, if I open my gallery, if I make three points of contact and slide to the left, it's going to store that application there for me. So say I was in my gallery, now I need to go send a text message. Slide that to the left, and again, I'll use the browser as an example. Now these applications are all stored in the side. So in order to access them, I'm just going to make three points of contact and slide to the right. And now I'm easily able to access these and jump between them. So it's a great way for you to set aside the applications you want to have that quick access to. And again, it's simply three points of contact to the left to store them and to the right to pull them back out. The device also features a 13 megapixel OIS camera. So this is going to give you great photos, whether um, you'll get less blurred photos if you're taking them while you're moving, and you'll also get um, better pictures pictures and low lighting. So you will notice in the video camera we have some unique features open as well. So we have dual recording which will allow you to make a video with your front and rear camera simultaneously. So as I'm recording I can move this around the screen. Um, also if you long press it will allow you to change the size of the box. So if you want to have um, more of yourself shown in the video you can do that as well. And then the other one that's really cool is what's called tracking zoom. So this is gonna allow you to focus in on a portion of the frame. And even if you move the camera a bit, it's gonna keep this in, um, in the frame as long as it's within the range of what the camera can see. So a great example for this, if you're watching a concert or say you have a child who's in a dance recital, you're able to focus in on that child or that performer um, tracking zoom will lock in on them so you'll have you know your full picture here and then you'll also have that portion that you're trying to focus in on again with this feature you are able to move that box around the screen and really focus on the area that you want to and real quickly for camera features um, we have shot and cleared we also have the dual camera so you can take those photos with the front and rear camera simultaneously as well um, as well as the VR panorama, which will give you that full 360 photo. Another thing that's unique with this device is some of the customization options. So you'll notice on any icon, if you long press, you're going to be able to change not only the size of the icon, but you can also customize it to a different picture if you'd like, including your own photo icon. You can also customize your system keys along the bottom here. So if you go into your display settings under front touch buttons, you have a bunch of different layouts for your system keys. So if we switch to this one here, I now have a key to bring it down and bring up my um, notification bar. So this is something that will allow you easy access. And again, you're going to customize that layout to whatever fits best for your needs. 
So um, due to the processor, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 that's in here, your great performance. The device also features a 3000 milliamp SIO Plus battery. And we are um, using a different technology called GRAM or Graphic RAM. And so this is going to help to enhance the battery performance on the device as well because it takes a load off of the CPU that's in the phone. So the LG G2 not only features a unique design, but it's also ideal for multitasking. It's going to keep up with heavy usage all through the day. Okay, so how do you turn it on and off without touching the button? Without touching the button, we have a feature called knock-on. So if this phone was placed on a table and I didn't have access to the rear button, if I tap twice on the screen, it's going to wake up. And you can actually use that same feature to lock the phone if you wanted to, so you can double tap to lock the phone as well. So you don't necessarily need to have it in your hand to turn it on and off. Thank you.